I got something for you very special before we begin our show. You remember the movie Rain Man with Dustin Hoffman? The original person who that movie was written about and who Dustin played so beautifully in that motion picture, he received the Academy Award. That person, Kim Peek, is in this theater today. Too low. <laughs> Welcome to Branson. We're glad We're to have you place. guys with us. We Fine. certainly are. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rain Man. We're here at Trinity Christian Academy to launch our children's books and have the Rain Man do a little show. Because he's a main character in our books, children's books. For 37 years, uh, Kim was under the diagnosis of mental retardation and autism. But. Um, Thanks much to the movie Rain Man and Fran's ability to carry on after the movie to allow Kim to share his story and his knowledge and brilliance with the world. Uh, Kim no longer even has the diagnosis of autism. One of the things that we're trying to do with this children's book project is to make it possible for parents to have the resources they need to do the kind of work for their children that Fran has done for Kim, uh, and to put it in a, in a form that's simple and direct and makes it possible for parents to have their children share with them the learning experience like Fran has done with Kim. Doctors labeled Kim uh, as retarded or as mentally retarded, as or unable to do things, he should be institutionalized and so forth. But Fran, his father, did not allow that to happen. I was a weakling. I had tutors, couldn't go to school. I had two, nine years of tutors. I was in a psychiatric clinic for two years. I was in a sheltered workshop for 22 years. He is an amazing human being that life could have very well have passed over. And that's what our children's books are about. The corpus callosum is the connective tissue between the two hemispheres of the brain. And uh, Kim does not have a corpus callosum. And as a result, since the corpus callosum filters out a lot of information, with Kim, he retains it like a photograph. They gave him eight pages and he read the eight pages in 53 seconds. I read the same eight pages in 23 minutes, and I read fairly quickly. And then about an hour later, they gave us a test to see what we could remember. And Kim remembered 98.7% of what he read verbatim, including the page numbers, and I remembered 45%. And when he's eight inches from the book, he's in perfect range to read left page with his left eye and the right page with his right eye at the same time. Kim, do you remember my birthday? May 28, 1968. It was, a it was a Tuesday, and this year it's a Monday, Memorial Day. You retire in 2033 on a Saturday. Wow. Yeah. December 5th, 1986. Friday, and this year it's a Wednesday, retire in 2051 on a Tuesday. You're 63 years old, and you were... Yeah, yeah well, did we have to, did you have to say that? <laughs> it was Monday in Easter week, and you're 63 years old. And when did you, uh, when did you, his birthday? Monday in Easter week was when I was born. Yeah. Was he, was he, <laughs> <laughs> this is Kim's dad, Francis. This is the Rain Man, Kim Peek, my buddy, my friend. This is the Academy Award in which this is the real deal. Come feel this. Because it's the only time you're ever going to hold it. That's the real deal. <laughs> Tell the people, is it heavy? It's heavy. Yeah. I love your Oscar. Miss. 
and the Oscar mm -hmm. goes to. So that Rain, Barry Morrow, Rain Man, 1988. Denial. I feel like I should make a speech here. Watch the sunset <laughs> on a tropic Do I get to keep this? Well, when, when Dustin Hoffman studied Kim in Hollywood, and he said afterwards, he walked up to Kim and touched him on the nose with his nose and says, I may be the star, Kim, but you're the heavens. And then he said, Fran, I need to talk to you. And he took me over to the side with Barry Morrow, who wrote the movie Rain Man. He says, I, I need to ask you something. He says, I want you to figure out a way to take him out and share him with the world because he will do so much to help other people. What day of the week did the Battle of Bunker Hill occur? It was a sa it was a Saturday. And what day? And what was On the date? June seventeenth, seventeen seventy-five. Okay. What's two hundred minus two hundred? What did he say? What? Say it again. What's two hundred minus two hundred? Math. <laughs> Who built outer space? Who what? Who built what? Outer space. Who built outer space? God made the heavens and the earth. When you're with children and they're standing and asking you questions and they want to understand how to grow up and be good adults and you're looking right in their little faces, what would you tell those children? That love is what we all need and that we are as important as you.